centered around race have plagued our country from its beginning and continues. Our Victoria Bailey goes to Mississippi State where our campus organization is taking steps to help. She joins us live in the studio to explain. Victoria. That's right, Scott. Race relations are more tense in some communities than they are in others. But one thing experts say is helping is having an open and public conversation about possible solutions. In almost every chair at the Mississippi State Men of Excellence Conference, there's a man who's always felt a little different. They've seen stares or heard comments about their skin color, and they want to break the stereotypes and give everyone a new vision of an African-American man in 2017. I guess it's more of an of a identity thing, I feel like. We, um, we come here and we... we it's like some of us are lost and we kind of we kind of get lost in this crowd, this crowd, and this crowd, and Men of Excellence is here to actually help you find yourself and build you up and so you can be great when you leave here. The conference targets black men that are in college in the southeast. Brevin Luckett has attended the conference before and keeps coming back because of the information that helps guide him in the future. It always leaves people um, with something different to think about. Like you learn something every time you come to this and you leave with something else, to, a message to spread, basically. You come out more informed than you did. Men of Excellence Vice President Blake Lewis says after seeing the mug shots of mostly young black men flashing across his local news, he hopes this conference can help break stereotypes. Well, as student leadership, how you can develop yourself on a professional level as well as a social level of being a student because you got to have all these aspects to adjust in to get to a professional level past graduation. The event is geared toward males, but MSU student Bria Henderson says there's too much good information to miss out on. I think understanding, uh, understanding black men for the entire country is a, a big issue, and I think women, um, if they go to these events and they hear the things that black men have to face, their issues, their perspectives, then we can learn how to be advocates for them and be a more unified body. Luckett says he plans to take what he's learned in Startville back to the capital city to inspire others. I'm from the Jackson metro area, and I know coming from where I come from, like people see me at Mississippi State, I post pictures on Instagram, Facebook. They see me doing different things than like let's say some of my friends that are back home because this is my way of standing out. This is my way of being different. This is my way of impacting my little brother back home. Now the next State of Black Men Symposium is scheduled for 2019. Scott